Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play StarCraft Remastered, the Terran Campaign. And as we move on to Mission 3. Yeah, let's go. I'm your Captain Gimli, this is my co-pilot Tiger Bull. Well, you can't see him, but he's awesome. Listen to this shit for anyway. Cause I'm in charge, that's why. Oh, it don't seem like no good kind of reason to me. Awesome. Hey, what's that? Hold on right in a second. <laughs> Looks like you mashed some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he can be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. At least we learn now what the Zerg shotgun and you singer says, and where that line Receiving came from. Transmission. Sweet Rover! I got your message, Magistrate, and frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw, too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. End of briefing. <clears throat> so, well that seems like a straightforward choice. Die to the Zerg or get saved by people who at least have the reputation of being extremists. I guess we'll find out just how extreme they are. First, we defend the landing site against the Zerg. Well, wait, hey, what? this thing's on fire! You ought to send an SCP out here to repair it. You can fix my bike up too while he's at it. Ah, the vultures and spider mines. Yeah? Yeah. Jacked up and good to yeah. go. Yeah. Ah, yes, atrocious Terran command center positioning. Closer to the minerals. I read you. Standing by. Stay covering these bunkers if things get too dicey. Indeed. Give me something to shoot. Standing by. Stay frosty go, go, and get go. the job done, as Come the on. medic would say in Brute War. Or will say, I guess. Yes, sir. Orders received. Right away, sir. Roger that. Standing by. Mariners. Outstanding. What are you on? SCP good to go, sir. Base is under attack. Daka, daka. Yes, sir. 
Repair. Oh yeah, and shift clicking. Holding shift while clicking allows you to queue up commands. Like I can queue up this SCV to move in a triangle a couple times. So you can also... Oh, SCVs can patrol. See, I never knew that. I've never tried to send workers on patrol before. In all these years. I still learned something new about familiar territory. Supply is okay. Orders received. Let's just seal the front entrances off with bunkers, I guess. Although in the past I would tend to just make a giant force of marines and plow through the Zerg bases because that was so easy at the time. I wonder if it's still easy. If they. Like, I'm wondering, did they also update the AI? Because in some missions that I played through on later playthroughs, I had the feeling the AI was much more aggressive than I remember. What are you on? And, you know, the AI was never that challenging to begin with, so I guess that's just interesting. Commander, what are you on? Scout, scout, scout around. Oh, is that it? Mining the future in District 7 on Marsara. Zerg! Same as no problem. My troll. Hey, is that I want to keep my commands on Report for duty. That's harvesting some Get gas. Overworld Tracy's armor. Go, oh wow, they even made some suits of armor in the shop window. Oh, so that's what those are. I never recognized those as being marine suits of armor in the pixelated old version. SCB, good to go, sir. Not mine at Tracy's. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. Jeff, orders received. Yeah, Marine Rangers ready to go. Orders received. Roger that. Report for duty. Roger that. SCB, good to go, sir. I read you. Right away, sir. Now, in Brood War, once you get access to medics, stim pack becomes one of the, mo like the most important upgrade SCB, you can get go, for your sir. Terran infantry. Especially in Terran vs. Zerg, because stim marines with medics from backup are really good against the Zerg. I'm not so used against the Protons, because the Protons have easier access to area of effect damage or splash damage if they just murder Marines by the dozens easily. That's pretty detailed, that's pretty great. Well, the high ground advantage is actually real. Um, let's build some barracks. Train some SCVs. Keep making supply depots. SCVs depots. Let's repair that bunker. Keep making SCVs. Upgrades. Upgrades. For now we'll stick with the range first. Because that will help. More in defending against these small waves. If you can shoot them from further away, they have less chance of getting to you and dealing damage to begin with. Bunkers give another plus one range to Marines and, of course, a lot of cover. Holy cow! Utilist in my mineral line. Just chilling there, showing off the new graphics. Oh, by the way, old Hydralisk! New Hydralisk! Upgrade complete. Standing by. Go, go, go. Marines who are low on health in bunkers. Yes, sir. Give me some of the I would reckon. Orders, Orders received. So these people actually. 
can harass the mineral line with mutas. Which is a thing certain NTP players also go, like sir. to do. To force the Terran to stay in their base Commander, go, go, go. for much longer or split their forces. Which roll. means there's less forces available for the Terran to directly attack the Zerg while the Zerg builds up a giant yes, economy. Right Zerg players like to do Roger that. that. Build lots of drones, which are their basic work, the equivalent of SCVs. Build up a large economy and then build an overwhelming force. But Zerg economy is a bit unique, as we shall see later. So they build all units from the same structure, and depending on what tech structures you have, you can make more units. All from the larva. Hatchery. Zerg build all units from the hatcheries, which generate larva, and larva can be morphed into all of the Zerg units. So you have a choice with every larva. Do you make a drone that is a worker that gets you more money, or a military unit? So while you're building up your economy as a Zerg player, you want to build as few military units as possible. Let's see if that works. QA. Like, build a depot, shift, right click on the minerals to go back to minerals. Upgrades. I like to hotkey my upgrade buildings to 8, although in Sarkov 1 you can only hotkey one building, unfortunately. You can only even select one. Alright, let's pump some reapers. I think we can support another barracks. Right away, sir. Can I read you? Alright, right, let's see. Shift right click on the minerals, see if that works. We can also either do R left click or just right click. Set building rally points. Which means finished units will go to the rally point. Give me some of shoot. See? Outstanding. They're just mirrored versions of each other. Rifle. Let's move. Rifle. Rocket. Rifle. Roll. Rifle. Go, go, go. Research complete. Research complete. Let's see what we're up against. Creep colony, which can be morphed into an anti-ground or anti-air defensive structure, and it spreads well. The creep, the car organic carpet on which all Zerg buildings are placed. Really, a Zerg colony is just effectively one giant organism connected by this purple goop or carpet called the creep, which I think is pretty cool. And the advanced Zerg structures give access to the collective Zerg hive mind knowledge which allows you to bring that knowledge down into your presence or colony and then make more advanced Zerg units. Because you can access more of the advanced collective knowledge of the Zerg my hive mind. Which I think is also a pretty cool concept. And by the way all this can be read in the original Starcraft manual which you can probably find with a brief internet search. And it's totally worth reading because the backstory is really cool. Bomb Marines! Let's send some SCVs over there to repair. Hmm. That bunker may not be so placed. This will give me more piece of fire support. Go, go, go! Give me something to shoot. Let's uh, tank that hydro risk. Tank with vultures. I thought you do okay damage. Hydrosk are medium units as I recall, which means vultures. Uh, never mind. Oh, and units shooting up onto high ground, like these marines are on the high ground, have I think only a 50% chance to hit. At least a much significantly lower chance to hit, so fighting from high ground is advantageous, as Obi-Wan Kenobi will tell you. You've seen Star Wars Episode 3. Although it's not, uh, it helps. It sure helps. But it's not, maybe not as decisive a factor as in the Anakin versus Obi Wan battle. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's also build a factory. Make some vultures. Keep pumping units. Not key those barracks. I 
six, seven. You want a piece of me, boy? Orders, Captain. Roger that. Barracks. Right away, sir. So how my own supply yes, is still good, but since I'm thinking about it now, Roger that. You want a piece of me, boy? Did I not? Uh, now it's too late. Once it starts constructing, you can't issue it commands anymore, unlike StarCraft 2, where you can. And then when you right-click, say on these minerals, you see a little dotted green line going there to indicate it's queued to go there after. You know, StarCraft 2 had many quality of life changes like that. Although part of the challenge of playing StarCraft 1 is managing that somewhat clunky interface, which makes your attention focus and your clicks all the more valuable. Commander, something on your mind? Oh, that's going pretty well. Mmm, 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 well, it enables you, it gives you access to the siege tank and it gives vehicle upgrades. Or rather, resources, special vehicle abilities. Like the Vulture's Mines. Vulture Spider Mines. Research at Machine Shop. The siege tank siege mode. Well, perhaps the siege tank can siege mode is lethal. It turns on from a, well, a tank with a paltry little pew pew gun into a lethal piece of big bada boom hardware that shoots like a screen away huge terrible damage Ooh, see now it's burning down until the SCV comes to repair it damage 20 which is explosive damage mind you which means it will only deal 50% damage to units that count as small such as the Zerg Mutalisk and 75% damage to medium units. I think medium air units are rare to non-existent. Oddly yeah. enough, the Terran Wraith counts as large, even though it's a you know, fairly small fighter plane, but meh. It's been decided. For game balance purposes, I guess. Right away, sir. Ten minutes until drop ship arrival. And it gives us ten minutes to wipe the Zerg colony off the face of the Earth. Checked up and good. Let's do another get round of back. constructing marines yes, and get out of here. Right away, sir. Affirmative. <clears throat> I read you, sir. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Rock and roll. All right, bring it on. Job finished. Oh, then give that barracks commander rally point yet? I see. Give me some yeah. issue. You want a piece of me, boy? I'm Vulture Arrow. Another quality of life improvement of StarCraft 2, you could select right, many, many more units than the maximum of 12 here. Mind. 83 out of 106. Uh, build another depot. Alright, SCV. Let's see if this works. Shift right click minerals. Yes, sir. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Roger that. What do you want? Hand it back. Commander. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? The Aquarium. Yeah, the key ingredient to play in StarCraft is to just build more stuff. And for building more stuff, you need to have more money, resources. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Yeah, that does look more shiny. Alright, bring it on! And that's why we're building, constantly building workers is so important. Because it allows you to build more stuff. You want a piece of me, boy? A lot more workers give more resources, more resources give you the money to build more stuff. Yeah, so you need more, many more production structures to actually spend your money. So if your opponent spends his money faster than you and gets more stuff, then they like to be boy. Although that's more multiplayer theory than anything. Okay, let's move out. Let's move. Rock and roll. I'm sure I'll to kill the Zerg base because I'm dawdling in my base for two reasons. Murder! Alright, let's research some, uh, some spider mines. 
Your forces are under you attack. Are attack! So much stuff in this little support from the reserve base. This is kind of chance. Sunken colony. The Zerg and the ground defense. Ah. Yeah, if we had some seed stacks, that would have been great because then we could have taken these columns out from a distance. Of course, we don't certainly need to take on the Zerg base, but you know, what else? We sit on our ass and do nothing. Waiting for the dropships. Story wise, that would have made more sense. Gameplay wise, though, it's not as interesting. Alright, let's move forward. They'll get the job done for now. Commander. Anyone else? I'll read you, sir. Hey. Any bro little Zerg? Hydralisk den. Sons of Korhal dropships approaching. Well, that's that then. Strap yourselves in, boys. Hmm, those dropships look sure look cool and remastered. Victory! So we evacuated and got our and our hero Jim Rayner has gotten himself involved with the Sons of Korhal as he defended his people against the ravenous Zerg swarm of the Garm. Garm brood of the Zerg, which is then a part of the larger Zerg swarm, because the Zerg swarm is divided into well broods. But we'll learn more, much more about the Zerg in the Zerg campaign, which is after the Terran campaign. Alright. Not bad. Alright, that does it for this episode. Thank you for joining me again. I am your Captain Gimli, and I shall see you 
next time. Stay awesome. Or... No, I'm still working on a good outro, basically. Anyway, good luck, have fun, see you around on the next episode of Let's Play StarCraft Remastered. Have a good night. Ciao, ciao.